Hi Cancer, I'm Sha from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome back. And this is your reading from the 31st till the 6th of September 2020. And thank you very much for your loyalty, your support and trust. Um, I'm using the new decks, the Pagan Ways and the Kingdom, uh, the Tarot of the Kingdom and the Avalonian deck some of my uh, newest cards. Now I'll be going out on Sunday as well on a platform, a cyber platform and that's called Soul Life and Soul. You'll find the, de the details below this video and I hope you will join me there as well. If, you, if it's raining uh, a rainy Sunday then it's a nice way to spend the rest of the day because there will be also other Th uh, therapists and readers and mediums, yoga teachers, meditations going on. You can take your pick. It's all free. Okay. And the platform does support uh, local small charities. And if you know of one, then let me know and I can pass it on to the platform. Okay. Small charities are supported by this platform. Every week it's different. Um, uh, charity. Okay, well, um, I love this deck and I'll be reading and giving out free cards there as well at 12.50 UK time and 13.50 European time. So I hope to see you there. Okay, and you can find the platform through the link below. Please like and share if you're new. Welcome to the channel. I'd also go out three times a week. Uh, Monday, Wednesday and Friday on YouTube, so join the Cyber family there as well. There are big changes, so I hope you have kept up with the videos. New videos are out there letting you know what is happening. Okay, let's get down to your reading. You have the Two of Cups on Monday, so you might be meeting your soulmate or you might be partnering up with a soulmate or somebody that understands you. You're like two peas in a pod and that's why you're good to join up together and start a business. Or this could also be a new romantic partner. It says union, so partnering up. You're emotionally in balance. Wow, that's great because that means that you're not stressed out if you're emotionally in balance. And we have the card Temperance underneath. Well, you've been trying to get balanced and I think you are balanced on Monday uh, because temper Temperance means balance, okay? And I think you are balanced because you are, have a union and two means that you could be in balance or without balance. But I feel that you are in balance. You know what you want and you go for it. Because temperance also represents Sagittarius. And Sagittarius is a fire sign and definitely they know what they want and they're very strong. And they are in balance because they go for what they want cost what may and they're also very creative so you might meet a Sagittarius you might be partnering up with a Sagittarius or you're taking a page out of their book by being determined and persevering and going for what you want and what you believe in then we have the five of swords on Wednesday you might be brought out of balance as you have the Five of Swords. Five is not being in balance, so perhaps um, be careful what you say and what you do, because the Five of Swords is the card of disagreements and arguments. Okay, so be careful what you say and what you do. Try to maintain that balance. You can only maintain balance if you walk away from other people's drama. If somebody is provoking you into an argument, walk away from it. Stand above it. Now, you have the five of fire here, so you've got two fives. The angels are with you. That's the five of wands. That is also the card from disagreement, but I also think it's the card of competition. 
a card of competition so somebody might be provoking you to have an argument because they can they might think that you are so well in balance that you can win this competition and they might be very sensitive and very jealous because they can't handle your competition so be careful you are very strong at this moment because you've got strong energy certain energy you are partnering up so you've got somebody to back you up and that could be a Sagittarius or you could be be the Sagittarius Cancer as this is your reading so you might have fire in your chart and it might be coming out okay you can definitely defend yourself but somebody might be jealous of you and wants to pick a fight with you okay walk away from it stand above it because you are in your strength okay stand above it then you have on Friday you have the eight of ones things are happening very fast and all at once it doesn't rain it just pours the eight of ones means news okay will be coming towards you um, lots of news might be flying around okay you might be going on holiday you might be traveling as well then you have the ace of air the ace of swords now this is a beautiful card it's one of my most beautiful ca favorite cards in the deck you've got a little baby in this lying in the seeds of the dandelions a wil wildered dandelion so there is a new beginning this could be with a Gemini this could be with a Libra this could be with an Aquarius that could be you're partnering up with an air sign but like I said you are powerful and somebody might be jealous because you're going to win the competition okay because the ace of air the ace of swords also means victory this could be with anything could be in literally in a competition it could be also in a judicial situation because the swords stand for municipalities and institutions honesty justice that is the dur jurisdiction <coughs> that is um, uh, the law and also communication and wisdom judicial that's sorry I couldn't get onto the word so if something is judicially happening you will get what you deserve you will have victory and so will they that could be the news that's coming in that you have won and a lot of people could say and also send you lots of news congratulations this could also mean that you have passed an exam or that you are the victor because victory is yours lovely now if it was with regards to a partnership that you had a, d a judicial issue or an argument that you couldn't afford avoid the argument then you will have victory there could sorry you've I held it the wrong way this you have the card of um, judgment this is a new beginning look at the baby that means a beginning of life a beginning of a project there could be also a second chance because it's the card of justice in the traditional deck it's Archangel Michael blowing uh, life into the rising dead so a new beginning or a second chance this could be with the person that you had an argument with um, but um, it could also be <coughs> with the new person that you've just met at the beginning of the week now I'm getting a feeling um, pregnancy birth this could be of a baby is very very prominent in this reading because we've got a baby here we've got a baby here and to top it all we have the Empress and the Empress is Mother Earth and she represents fertility so the time for success is fertile and you have got success okay
she also represents birth birth of a baby birth of a, a project the seeds that she sows she nurtures and she knows what she has sown and she will nurture it into growth and um, um, uh, blossoming and after it's blossomed she will pluck the fruit and harvest it and carry on the cycle again so you might find out you're pregnant if you don't want to get pregnant take precautions and and for those that are wishing to get pregnant there is a very good chance on Friday and the weekend that you will get pregnant okay you could be also be meeting a, ver uh, a, a Libra well we've got the Gemini Libra and Aquarius here so Libra Libra is prominent in from the air signs now the overall energy is the five again a five so you've got five 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 have a look on Google what three times five means five 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 adds up to fifteen and five and one is six so you will definitely be in balance you've got the higher fund so cancer you could be meeting a Taurus as the higher fund represents Taurus there might be a significant uh, Taurus in your life this could be a mature man or a father figure that you seek advice from it could also be a professional person that you're seeking advice from as their hierophant is a mature person that has knowledge and um, it is the head of an institution so you might be seeking advice from a professional from a municipality or an institution this could be a social worker an advocate a lawyer a bookkeeper anything like that then the last card that we have is from the Avalonian deck and that is the apple now I'm going to put it down and I'm going to point some things out I know some of you will say oh no and I see there is also a five the five seeds of wisdom so you've got four fives five 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 so have a look I don't know what 555 means um, that's an angel number definitely um, about 555 is 20 so again balance yes I always uh, like to think about figures and things like that but the keyword keyword for this deck is the quest you are going for what you want you can win that competition you've got the victory there you go that is your quest you have wisdom you might seek more wisdom you might even ask uh, a professional somebody mature person how do I start this course or can I advance my talents and uh, my gifts can I specialize in them and the apple also stands for women's mysteries healing women's mysteries well we've definitely got a very much the feminine uh, energy here like the baby the baby the baby card the mother card okay like I said you might find out you're pregnant but women's mysteries are healing so if you have when you have um, when you have your monthly cycle um, you might have lots of headache or stomach ache and but you're healing you're healing from that you are taking advice perhaps from a doctor Wow and there will be sacred imbalance okay now the apple apple also when you cut it through the half you have the five star like with the pagans they have a star with five points and it is um, all the elements it's earth fire water air and ether and those are um, elements that we represent and that we are made of and that is the wands the, the swords the pentacles and water the cups and ether okay 
so you have l uh, luck around you you are protected okay now when you slice an apple in half along its equator in the middle a five-pointed star is revealed representing the mysteries of this revered and sacred fruit a symbol of wisdom across the um, across time and cultures the apple is most often associated with the divine feminine and we see in Celtic cultures that the Isle of Apples is one of the names for the blessed of the other world that's the other world is the Empress that was the mother and she becomes she's Mother Earth but everything goes to um, hibernate or uh, goes down with us in the winter because the story behind it is that her daughter was kidnapped by the Lord of the underworld and after a long session uh, her daughter comes back to her for nine months and in the winter the daughter returns to her husband okay and so everything has a, a, a passing point and a rebirthing point and that is beautiful okay <coughs> now everything has a time so nine could be significant ag again because uh, my brain is working overtime or my intuition nine months for pregnancy so nine could be significant okay the seeds of all healing and growth already lay within you everything you need to know and all that you will become awaits your recognition reclaim the fastness of your potential honestly assess where you are in your process and honor the place you are in at the moment there you go so honor where you are look where you want to go that is what you're doing you're trying to find the balance okay you're partnering up so this could be a new relationship okay you have all the talents all the gifts that is uh, mother earth that is what the five signs are you've got the gift of the gab um, and the knowledge like the swords the air then you have the earth um, you are you stand with two feet on the ground that's earth you've earthed yourself you have got your balance back you are in action because you're going to where you want to go the new start victory perhaps in a reconciliation or a second chance in something um, uh, you have your emotions in balance okay Wow. Uh, you've got the you've got the gift of the gab. Now do the walk. <laughs> you can do the talk. You've got the earth. You've got fire. So go into action. Go for what you want. Like I said, the Sagittarius does what they want. Um, cost what may. They are determined. They're passionate about what they want. So they take action. They're creative. Go for it. Victory is yours, Cancer. I hope you have in, enjoyed the reading and I hope it resonates with you. Remember, if it doesn't, then have a look at your moon sign or your rising sign. Have a wonderful week and please subscribe and hit the bell on all and like and share. Thank you.